Really great to see these guys. A little strange to see these guys in different uniforms, but as you'd expect on the legacy of Sparky Anderson, right up there, high in their mind. The last time we were all here together was in the, the uh, reunion. That was really special. We had a great time. That's why we all came. Because we, we had an idea it might be the last time we were all together. And I had several conversations from that point on with him. Um, look at, the guy lives in me every day. Played for Sparky for 17 years along with Lou Whitaker, so uh, we knew him as well as anybody. Uh, I probably had the closest relationship. Kirk and Sparky's was a little more back and forth, but as time went on, there was so much mutual respect. I don't have many things in my office, but I have a letter from Sparky. He wrote me uh, less than a month after I retired. And uh, it's pretty touching, and it's just about a relationship. And if I can develop relationships and help make these guys better players, better people, teach them how to give back, like I was shaped and molded by Sparky, then, then that's, that's, the greater, that's the greater cause. You know, I didn't get the sense that the emotion has really kicked in yet. I'm sure it will on Sunday. And both guys staying focused on the series. They know the fans that cheered for them here for so many years will be rooting against them this weekend. Reporting live outside Comerica Park, I'm Tom Lydon, Channel 7 Sports.